Dear friends, we continue to inform you about what is happening on the Ukrainian front. Kupiansk direction. Sinkivka. Russians were spotted on the southeastern flank. Russians with the support of equipment and aviation were able to advance. They are already setting up positions in the gray zone. The Russians are adding reserves from the forest on the western flank. And the fighting has intensified. Bakhmut direction. After artillery strikes, the Russians attacked near the village of Ivanivsky, but did not make significant progress. Russians also tried to attack in Bodanivka and suffered significant losses. Avdivka direction. Now the Russians have increased pressure on Orlivka, trying to advance from the Avdivka coke plant along the main road, and we see them moving in groups through the fields, trying to gain a foothold in the plantations. They are using armored vehicles, which were redeployed to this area overnight as cover. The Russians also increased pressure in the direction of Lastochkin from the eastern flank. They are very tactically trying to show themselves in this direction but it will be a difficult way to this village. Fresh panoramic view of Avdivka and flight over coke plant. Russians got only ruins. We can film a fallout movie over there. However, ruins is Russian symbol. Marienka direction. Ukrainian armed forces retreated 1.59 square kilometers west of Pobeda. The Ukrainian armed forces also retreated 197 square kilometers north of Novo Mikhailivka. Judging by the map of combat operations, the Russians are likely to create a new bridgehead for encirclement in the area of Kostyantinivka. Zaporizhzhia direction. On the Robotina section, Russians land in small groups far from the village and travel on foot to Robotine, with artillery and FPV drones inflicting significant losses. Robotino Verbove. The lunar landscape of this theater of operations is striking. Due to the intense fighting, the recently fertile soil has been left almost completely devastated, with craters from large caliber shells everywhere. Footage of a battle of one of the special units of the Ukrainian Defense Forces in the Zaporizhia sector, where our military are driving homemade Ukrainian analogs of the American Humvee armored vehicle. Our name is Character. Max Pro armored personnel carriers, APCs, and M113 armored personnel carriers, APCs. According to Defense Express, the battle took place against an enemy sabotage and reconnaissance group in mid-February. Our defenders managed to push the enemy into the temporarily occupied territories without losses.
A powerful attack on the location of enemy drone pilots was recorded by FPV drone operators of the Argus unit of the 38th OBRMP. The video was shot on the temporarily occupied left bank of the Kherson region. mass liquidation of Russians at a training ground near Podokalinivka in the Kherson region. The occupiers from the 328th, 8th, 10th, and 81st units were brought to the training grounds on the instructions of the Dnipro command. HIMARS was used to target them. That's all the information we have for now. Dear friends, please do not forget to like this post as it will help to spread this information.